Hello friends, so today I have another challenge for you. You have to calculate a rate of return on this HDFC Sanche Plus policy. Why I have chosen this Sanche Plus policy because it is a very common policy and which is the most popular policy nowadays. So what is this policy? The This is the illustration of that and just pause this video. Calculate the ROI of this policy, the first one policy. I want you to calculate it yourself because once you take effort to do that once you apply your mind to uh, do that you will gain much more knowledge i want you to pause this video right now calculate in excel and then comment the results in my comment box no matter it is right or wrong just comment it what roi you get and after that you watch the full video So guys now we, we will calculate the ROI return on investment from this policy. So we will be straight away going to the excel file where I have what I have done is that I have taken a snip of that and pasted in this excel file. So uh, those who didn't find to get the results correct uh, just check it how I am doing it now. So what we you have to do is just write down the cash flows of all the years. So I will writing the year number right one and then i am dragging it to 20 there are 20 years because the policy term is 20 and after that i have to write the cash flows for the sake of convenience i am writing it as one lakh and ignoring taxes and i will also include taxes uh, in this video later on so what i have done is now this is the cash flow in negative because we have given it we had uh, invested it and then from the 11th year there is no inflow no outflow uh, till the 20th year in the 21st year there is a maturity 23 lakh 9000 so what will write 23 lakh 9000 in the 21st year and now we will calculate the ROI so for ROI we have formula called IRR the internal rate of return so this will calculate the return from a series of cash flows right this is my series of cash flow and now I'll put an enter in that and the return will be calculated. This is 5% if I increase the decimal places. This is 5.47%. Now if I, if I include uh, you can say taxes in that what will be the ROI then this will be the ROI. So I am including taxes this is 4.5% in first year and from the second year it is 2.5 so this is the uh, total investment that you are making in the 10 years and you are getting the same amount 23 lakhs 9000 the ROI to this is 5.29 percent do you find a good plan investment plan actually this is not an investment plan this is an investment plan mixed with some insurance plan so this is not an investment plan not an insurance plan I do not know what is this plan I personally feel you should stay away from this plan, these type of plans. So now we are uh, not discussing about plans and we will be calculating ROI. So I assume you can calculate the second by yourself. Just have a try and uh, comment in my comment section what you find the results. I will publish it after few days. So I will calculate the ROI on the third now. So it's a bit complicated. So I will calculate it. So this is the premium pay term 10 years, policy term is 11 years and the person is getting 12th from 12th year to 36th year uh, which is getting 1 lakh per annum from 12th year to 36th year payout period of 25 years. So it sounds very good policy that you have to pay uh, 10 years 1 lakh rupees each that means you have to pay 10 lakh rupees the 11th is the rest period and from 12th year you will be getting for 25 years 1 lakh rupees each that is 25 lakhs and then 10 lakhs at the end of payout period that is 36th year you will get 10 plus 10 lakh rupees extra so the total payout to you will be 35 lakhs after giving 10 lakhs seems very good we will calculate the ROI in excel so we have already included uh, 21 years what we will do is that we will increase it 
so what we'll do uh, we'll fill from here only it will be a better solution to do that so oh, oh wait a minute so i have to pick control and then uh let me have this 36 year right so i have written 36 years i will write the cash flow i am right now i have explained about taxes so i am picking from here only so i have made out all the cash flows from the 11th year the 11th year there is no payout and no receipt from the 12th year for the 25 years uh, we are getting uh, amount of 1 lakh so this is you can say the count 21 we have received 21 times but we have to make it 25 so this this is the 25 uh, uh, 25 payouts and at the end of 36th year so in this year only we are getting 10 lakh rupees extra so i'll write 10 lakh rupees 3 to 516 so this is uh, 11 lakh rupees at the end of 36th year so shall i calculate irr on that now yes it's simple you have to calculate just irr and go to above and close bracket so what is the return it's six percent now what will do increase the decimal places it is 6.3 yes it is a much better plan than this earlier plan right but still it does not beat inflation it does not beat uh, rd returns if you are going for a, a policy for your sole returns then this is not your policy you can think of uh, much other plans and for second and fourth you have to calculate it yourself and comment in the comment section i will reply to you thanks for watching this video if you find this video helpful please like it and share it if you do if you do have any queries in excel also you can comment i will reply to that thank you for watching this video thank you.